Hey guys, what's happening? It's B-Side, and today in my hand, I have the Gretsch G5232T Electromatic Double Jet. We're gonna check this out, get some tones, tell you what I think about it, and uh, find out if this is a guitar for you. So first off, before we get into the specs and into some sounds, I just wanna say I love what Gretsch has been doing with the Electromatic line over the last couple years. And honestly, even though this is purely aesthetic, I love that they've taken Electromatic off the headstock and they only have it on the pickguard. I just think that's a little nod to their consumer, to their customer saying like, hey, just cause you buy an Electromatic doesn't mean everybody needs to know you bought the cheaper Electromatic. You still bought a Gretsch. You're still in the Gretsch family. And I love that cause a lot of other brands don't do that, right? They they don't want people to know you didn't buy their more expensive one. They want you to think you bought the cheaper one to make you buy the more expensive one. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go ahead. We'll jump into some specs on this guy. I'm gonna give you some tones and then I'm gonna give you some final thoughts because really this guitar has a specific buyer. It's not for everybody. And I wanna talk about that and let you know uh, if really you should be thinking about this guitar. So with that, let's jump into the specs. So what we're looking at here is the Gretsch G5232 Electromatic Double Jet with Bigsby. This guy is a mahogany body that is chambered, so it's a little less heavy than you think it would be. The neck itself is mahogany with a laurel fingerboard. That fingerboard actually has very cool neoclassic thumbnail inlays, which I think are super cool and one of the, and actually the best inlays Gretsch does in my opinion. 22 medium jumbo frets, a synthetic bow nut, a 12 inch fingerboard radius, a 24.6 inch scale length, and it has neck binding that is aged white. That binding actually also goes around the body. So this guitar definitely is dressed up and looks super, super cool. As far as the hardware is concerned, that is a Bigsby licensed B50 vibrato. And as far as electronics, the pickups are both black top filter trons. And there's a three-way switch that does exactly what you think it would do in the up position. It goes to the neck pickup in the down position. It goes to the bridge position. And in the middle, both those pickups are on. You also have four knobs on the guitar. There's a master volume, a master tone, and then individual volumes for each pickup. So a little bit different than your kind of standard four knob guitar. And we'll dig into that right now. So before we dig into some tones, let's talk about those knobs I was just talking about. So the guitar has four knobs. The one right here closest to the neck, that's a master volume. So that's controlling the master signal leaving the guitar. You have these two other knobs right here that are right underneath the Bigsby. That's a, those are volumes for each individual pickup. So the front one is for the, for the neck pickup uh, and the back one is for the bridge pickup. And then down here we have a master tone control. So you don't have an individual tone control for each pickup, there's just a master tone control. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in my pros and cons of the guitar after the tones, but I just wanted to let you know that that's the layout. Let's go ahead and go to the neck pickup. We're gonna turn everything up to 10 and see what that sounds like. <laughs> All right, let's jump down to the bridge pickup. And let's just do both of those together. Oh, they sound really good. Now, this is a Gretsch thing, right? Like these filter trons, if you're looking for a humbucker, don't really do that, and they're not doing single coil things. I mean, the Gretsch thing is a real thing. But let's go ahead and go to the bridge position again and get some a little more kind of minory, funky. Now, for me, that's a little bright, so I'm gonna roll off the tone a little bit.
Let's do that same thing in the neck position. Now, in the neck position, I don't like the tone rolled off, so I'm gonna bring that back. So let's go ahead and flip it back to the neck here. and go down to the bridge. So the next thing for us to look at is this Bigsby. Now the Bigsby does a thing it is a, generally it's used as a very kind of light tremolo. So when you strum. This is definitely not a dive bomb. It's not even really what a Strat can bring you. It's just a nice, a nice trim. It's just a nice smooth trim. Now, can I hammer it down? Sure, I can do that. But you can tell that the bridge does not like it when you do that. This arm is not happy when that happens. The spring is not happy. It just wants a nice even, just a nice even, just end it. You can even hear a little bit when I did that. When I pushed it too hard, it went a little bit out of tune. Uh, that will happen. So that's another reason why these are not uh, great for that. Anyway, with that being said, we have the tones, we have the specs. Let's get on to some pros and cons of this guitar. So let's dig into some of the pros and cons of this guitar. The first obvious pro is how just amazing it looks. I mean, this guitar looks phenomenal. The fit and finish are great. It's solid. It's a really solid guitar. I mean, you show up to a gig with one of these things and people are going to be impressed. I really like this Tahiti Red. It's definitely more of a peach coral kind of thing, but that's why it's Tahiti Red, not Ferrari Red. So <laughs> we'll take it. Um, another cool pro about this guitar is they added those neoclassic inlays. I love these thumbnail inlays. I think they're super awesome. So aesthetically, this guitar is just, it's a 10 out of 10. Another pro with this guitar is these pickups. Now, once again, the Gretsch thing is a thing. And so Filtertron type pickups are a thing, right? They're not your kind of traditional humbuckers. They have, in my opinion, more bite, more treble to them. So if you want a pickup that has more bite than a humbucker has, but you don't want to just go to a single coil, then these pickups uh, could be the pickups for you. And the ones they use in this guitar really sound good. I would call a, another pro is that they have a Bigsby licensed tremolo on here for the price, that's awesome. And the reality is, is if you are into the Bigsby thing, this is gonna be a solid trim system for you. I do wanna say on neither pro nor con, let's call this neutral, but if you're not into the Bigsby thing, please don't buy the guitar with the Bigsby. It is, it's definitely not worth it if you aren't into the Bigsby thing. They make this same guitar with a stop tail on it. It's like a hundred bucks less. But if you are not a hundred percent sure that you love this, that you're going to use this Bigsby, I would go the other direction because a Bigsby, it's harder to change strings. Things can go out of tune. I mean, it, it, it has its own problems associated with it, but it also is super, super cool, but you want to make sure you're going to use it. So that being said, let's get into the cons. The cons are, as a beginner, I would not recommend this guitar. If this is your first, if you're looking for your first guitar, this is not it. Uh, I say that because of the Bigsby. It's gonna bring you too much frustration. I would just, I would recommend this guitar in the stop tail model for you if it's your first guitar. I think that'd be a great choice for you. The other con for me is just these, I mean, these the volume and tone control situation is a con. And I'm gonna tell you why. Actually, there's a couple reasons. One, these pickups have bite, they're bright. We've been talking about that this video. 
So having one single tone control that's a master tone control for both pickups is a bummer for me because I like the tone rolled off on the bridge pickup, but I don't want it rolled off on the neck pickup. So if I'm playing on the bridge pickup and I have the tone rolled off, when I go to the neck pickup, I'm gonna have to readjust the tone every time I switch. Now, maybe that's not a thing for you. Maybe you like that really, really bright bridge pickup that this guitar is bringing to the table, but for me, that is a thing. The other th issue for me is, and, and not just for me, this is gonna be for everybody, the location of these volume controls is really awkward. <laughs> the, the volume control, especially for the neck pickup, is like right behind that Bigsby. So that Bigsby arm, I mean, you can't even get your, arm, your fingers straight down on it. You gotta kinda come around. It's not real comfortable. Um, and so if you're into any type of volume swell or using the volume to control drive on an amp, things like that, then um, I think you're gonna have a problem here. It's not, it's just not that um, accessible. And then the master volume is kind of over here. So that's kind of an awkward spot for that, for doing the same thing. So I think that layout, um, it's definitely unique. It looks kind of cool, but it could definitely be rethought. Um, and I think for a lot of us, if you just keep your guitars on 10 and you don't mess with those things, it's a non-issue. But if you do you know, kind of play with the volume and tone controls, you're going to experience some sort of issue getting to those. So my final thoughts on the Gretsch Electromatic Double Jet is it is super, super cool. There's no doubt about it. It does that Gretsch thing. It does it at a really affordable price. Really the only thing from a like replacement standpoint that I could even think about replacing on this would be the tuners. They're okay, but I like locking tuners. So, you know, I'd probably replace the tuners if I was going to keep this one. Now, I'm not much of a Bigsby guy, so I don't think this one's gonna stick around long here, but if this one was a stop tail one, it probably would have. This just, I wanted to do the Bigsby one for you guys, just so you could see that. Let me know what you think about this guitar in the comments below. If you enjoyed hanging out, would you consider hitting that subscribe button? And with that, I'm B-Side, and we'll catch you next time. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Really appreciate it. If you are looking to learn guitar, might I suggest two different websites for you. One, if you're a beginner or beginner intermediate, just really wanting to get your chops up and really understand the fretboard and know the guitar, go ahead and check out guitarpass.com. It's only 10 bucks a month. This is put on by the guys over at Music Villa and it is awesome and super solid for you to get your chops built up on guitar. If you already have those chops and you're an intermediate advanced player just really wanting to learn how to just shred and build your own solos and really take your guitar to the next level, then you gotta check out brettpapa.com. Uh, the Caged Unleashed course will literally change your life. So don't miss out on that. I put links to both of those in the description below. Thanks again for hanging out and we'll catch you next time.